I just wanted some sauce on those zingers. All right, everybody, welcome to the show. I hope you're having an awesome day. First and foremost, two shameless plugs. Make sure you subscribe to Review Tech USA. That's this channel. I upload content on a daily basis and stream on a fairly regular basis. And also, Make sure you check out my ASMR channel called Tech 25 ASMR. It already has a bunch of content up there already, and I'm going to be uploading a lot more this year. I'll have links to both channels, this one and Tech 25 ASMR below in the description and top pin comment. Ah, look what I'm doing again. Look what the old man's doing again. He's whipping out the uh, RAM prices because there is more terrible news. And this time Micron is basically spitting in their customers' faces who made them who they are again. But uh, I, I just want to show you what's going on. And yes, for those of you who have been here, I know this gets tired, but for those of you who are new, you may want to see this. So uh, here is an example, perfect example of how much uh, RAM has gone up. This is from late 2025 to early 2026. A 32 gigabyte DDR5 kit went from 80 to 100 bucks. It's now over 360 bucks and sometimes higher depending on who you buy it from. Uh, DDR4 is also going up 100 to 180%. So even though it's cheaper and you have AMD bringing back like the Ryzen 7 5800 uh, to help right now with the AI RAM crisis so you could use it with DDR4. Um, yeah, there's even a price increase there. This also, like I said, is going to affect all devices, smartphones, laptops, game consoles, you name it. Everyone is going to feel the squeeze. Even if you aren't a nerd and you are into PC gaming or gaming at all, if you have any kind of technology in your home and you're looking to buy new technology that needs RAM and needs storage, guess what? You're going to feel it too. Well, Micron, as we know, they had their consumer RAM division called Crucial. And as of late February, 2026, they're going to be getting out of the market. This February, there will be no more consumer brand for Micron, which was crucial. It, that Which means that one of the big three, because you have SK Hynix, you have Samsung, and you have Micron that make consumer memory. Micron, that's only three. It's only one of the big three. A third, there's going to be a third less RAM manufacturing going on because Micron's getting out of the consumer business. So the prices were already going up with Micron making crucial, making RAM for the consumers. Now they're gone. So it's just going to exacerbate the problem. But according to Micron, don't worry, we're still going to help out the consumer. And this is a good move. And don't worry, if you want to buy a Dell computer, which no one does, uh, <laughs> you, we're going to be putting memory in there. So we're still going to be making consumer products, but we're not. Go buy a Dell. Dude, you're getting a Dell. Well, Micron has been quiet about them shutting down their crucial brand. Gee, I wonder why. They're probably looking to mitigate the bad PR behind it. But at uh, CES 2026, they finally said something. This comes from xdadevelopers.com. I'll read it to you that we'll discuss. Since revealing plans to leave the consumer market, Micron has remained quiet. But at CES 2026, Christopher Moore, Micron's vice president of marketing, mobile and client business unit, discussed the move in an interview with WCCF Tech, emphasizing that from his company's perspective, it isn't leaving consumers behind because you could buy it in pre-builds. Okay. Oh my God. I, they're so dishonest and disgusting. I hate corporations. I can't stand them. I really hate him. Well, first off, I want to try to help everybody understand that the perception may not be exactly correct. It is. It is. You're, you're just doing a PR spin right now. At least from our point of view, said Moore. He then went on to explain that our viewpoint is that we're trying to help consumers around the world <laughs> by making there be less RAM supply by getting out of the consumer business. You're, you're helping out consumers. By making prices go up and making RAM unaffordable, you're helping out consumers. It Sure. I, I do they really think anyone is going to believe this? But okay, they probably they do. They really think that their consumer base is stupid, which should insult you. As far as Micron is concerned, it's still serving the consumer industry by supplying LP DDR5 DRAM to PC makers like Asus, Dell, and more. With more stating that the company is in contact with every single PC brand out there to supply memory modules. Effectively, Moore is saying that as far as Micron's concerned, consumer DRAM demand is now handled through PC makers rather than directly by the company. And also, too, the reason why Micron is doing this is because corporations like Dell 
uh, they buy a whole an HP, they buy a whole bunch of memory up front. So they secure more of a profit selling directly to corporations, even if it's for consumer products. So there's don't worry, they're still giving you the, the average consumer the finger. Don't let them try to brainwash you. And they go on to say that they can't ignore uh, the demand for AI data centers. They, they just, they can't ignore it. It's there's just too much money. It's too delicious there. It, we just had to shut down our crucial brand just to make sure these AI data centers, which are going to ruin our lives, take away our jobs, take away our, <laughs> they want Peter Thiel essentially wants to make an AI God. I can't wait for all that. That's we're all dying for all that right now. I see a lot of these suits in these companies being like, oh, this is just like when social media was taking off, but social media has been absolutely terrible for humanity. Let's keep it real, but no one knew what was coming with it. So people were excited for social media. They were looking forward to social media. It was interesting to communicate in a new way you never did before. No one's excited for AI and no one is looking forward to AI minus the big tech oligarchs because they want to control us and make sure we are financially beholden to them and beholden to them in all ways in the long run. They're the only ones that are excited for this. No one's like, oh man, I can't wait for AI to take my job. I can't wait to see more AI slop on YouTube. No one's saying that. Nobody. So this situation, like... My point being is that if it was something that we would be excited for and looking forward to and didn't have all of these demonstrative downsides, okay, you know, then I could see them trying to spoon feed this, uh, this to us and us being like, all right, yeah, maybe this is something cool. And it, it, no, everything looks dark and bleak with AI. There's already people getting laid off because AI ta- is taking over their jobs. And it's like then on top. Oh yeah. By the way, we're, we're, we're focusing on these AI data centers that you despise and we're stopping our consumer brand, which in turn is going to make memory, which is already insanely expensive, even more expensive, but we're pro consumer, by the way, we swear continuing according to a recent study from the international data corporation, there's no end in sight to the memory shortage, and it will likely persist into 2027. However, the PC industry is still riding high right now with shipments growing 10% year over year this past quarter on the heels of Microsoft dropping support for Windows 10, which Moore's Law is Dead also pointed this out too. You know what's adding to the uh, disaster of the AI memory crisis is that Windows or Microsoft, for whatever goddamn reason, remember there was a time they were saying Windows 10 was forever, they're going to keep updating it like Mac OS does? Yeah, that, I remember Pepperidge Farm remembers that too. Because a bunch of people's computers turned into e waste unnaturally, there was no reason for that to happen. Microsoft just wanted to force you go over to Windows 11. I don't give a crap what they say about TPM. A lot of people had no choice. Their hand was forced to get a computer. What do computers need? RAM. So you also have that partially adding to this AI RAM crunch as well. You have people having to get new computers, which is putting more demand on RAM. The AI data centers are putting demand on RAM. So we're getting screwed from multiple angles. Listen, do not buy what Micron is selling. They're not doing this because, oh, out of the kindness of our hearts, we're going to sell memory to Dell in HP. So don't worry. We're still in the consumer market. They're selling to them because they're going to, they're corporations and they're going to buy truckloads of RAM at once. And who the hell is going, man, you know what? I want to, instead of building my own P- PC, I want to buy an HP instead. Who the hell is saying that? Who? Who's saying they want to buy a Dell computer or Alienware computer? I mean, there's our decent pre-builds. I talk about them all the time, but no one is going, man, I can't wait to get that Dell gaming PC. Yay. Give your dick and Dell. All this is, is Micron sniff that sweet data AI data center money and they're screwing over the consumer that made Micron what it is by going to just with the big corporations and the tech oligarchs that want to keep building their data centers and bringing pollution and noise pollution and taking over communities we want to help them profit over people profit over everything and it needs to end this is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out have a good one (laughs) 